Hello guys, I am back again to keep you updated with the breaking trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. So there is this short video I want to share with you guys. Um, it's about the issue between uh, IPOB's leader, Mazin Namdekan, and the Nigerian government. We already know all the details, so I am not talking about the details. Now, this video, you can see Femi Falana, uh, we already know him, he's a senior advocate of Nigeria. He has explained more in details the reason why Nigerian government will not be able to touch IPOB's leader, Mazi Namdekanu, um, despite all the amended charges and every other thing uh, level against the IPOB's leader. Now, I keep telling you guys, I keep saying it, whenever we see the truth, let us say the truth the way it is. Many people that are supporting the Nigerian government action, especially most of the Igbo elite, the elders and so on, it's not as if they really don't know the truth. But the fact still remains that they also are the ones benefiting from the Nigerian government. So there is no way you will tell me that those people don't know the truth. But how can they come out to tell you the truth when they are benefiting from the same source that is making them to be what they are today? Of course, most of them know that if uh, Biafra were to be restored today, most of them, I'm talking about the leaders, the elite, most of them will not be relevant. Let me put it that way. Most of them will not be relevant. So there is no way um, they will not support a system where they are benefiting from. Of course, yes. So Femi Falana has um, given a real hint and reason. That was the reason why I said it's an expo. So I want you to listen to uh, Femi Falana during an interview with Arise Television and tell me what you think. Uh, then, if you have anything to contribute, put it down on the comment section below. I quickly want to share this video for you guys. It's not as if people uh, do not know the truth. Just listen to what Femi Falana says. Then you will realize that if a senior advocate knows the truth, what is going on, what needs to be done, and what need not to be done, then tell me how do you expect the elite people that are supporting the action, how do you expect them to come out and say the truth when they are benefiting from it? All right. So listen to Femi Falana. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. See you guys in another video. Um, Igbo leaders met with uh, President Tebuari a few days ago. And the main subject of discussion was the need to find a political solution to the continued trial of uh, Nam the uh, Kanu, leader of the indigenous peoples of Biafra. And uh, the president said, well, he will look into the request. But in any case, he will not want to interfere with uh, the judiciary or violate the principle of separation of power. But can the president take a decision uh, within the purview of Section 174 by directing the Attorney General of the Federation to enter a knowledge prosecutor? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you will recall that a couple of weeks back, the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Abuba Kamalami, did indicate that the cases of uh, Enam Dekanu and Sunday at the MOEK, uh, Sunday Ibuho. Uh, Ibuho. Ibuho, might be resolved politically. <laughs> In the case of Kanu, frankly speaking, the charges can hardly be proved. One of the one of the one of the kinds is sedition. Sedition was pronounced illegal and unconstitutional in 1983 in the case of Arthur Wan and the state. So I don't know. I mean, I, I can't see how. Some of those charges will stand in law. So the choice before the government is to have this matter resolved politically. 
In the case of Sondebo, the government has not filed a request in the Bene, uh, in the Benenoi court for its extradition. So I believe the government is also taking its time to uh, resolve this matter politically. More so that the High Court in Oyo State has said that organizing rallies to demand for exercise, uh, demand for self-determination is not illegal under our law. So mm -hmm. I, I believe the government has no choice but to resolve this matters politically. More so that the IPOB could be said to have extended the only branch to the government with respect to the gubernatorial election just concluded in a number of states. If IPOB had not suspended hostilities in that state, there's no way you could have had you could have had the election. So I believe the government has taken cognizance of all the facts and circumstances of these cases. Uh, and are therefore resolved to handle them politically uh, with respect to section 174 the attorney general does not need to take instructions from the president have a regard to the state of the law the commission has empowered him to discontinue any case at any state in the public interest and this case suggests that the government has to intervene. If the Attorney General does not even exercise his powers, the President can, under Section 175 of the Constitution, grant 